He made records under his own name. Uh, yeah, he's from Philly. Nice guy. I met him. Yeah, talented guy. Okay, I was he married a girl named uh, Sandy. Wait a minute, hold on. She was Miss Pennsylvania. Really? Um, Sandy Powell. Okay. Sandy Powell made a record. It's called Bon Bon, and he's the background. Him okay. And his group. Okay. It's an outrageous record. <laughs> Val, I got to tell you, this is the classic story, Val. Shively story than I know of. Right. When you had the old shop up the street, I stopped there after work one time to get a couple 45s. Right. I think we spoke about this, and a guy came in with a big uh, supermarket bag, brown bag, mm -hmm. and you looked over. He said, "What can I do for you?" And the guy says, "I'm here to sell these 45s." Oh, I know it is. I and know the story. And he says, "What do you got?" Go ahead. I think and the I guy know. said, "Oh, I got the best ones on top." And you took the top record out, and it was Ringo by Lauren Green. I think you told uh, him to take the back and get out. Oh, okay. Do you remember that? No. no. <laughs> but I remember this. I sold a guy. This is one of my. This is this is a classic story. The guy used to call here every day. He call up, and he still. I still do business with this guy. And this has got to be 25, 30 years ago. He called up one day, the first day, and he said, "Do you have?" Moonlight Feels Right by Starbuck. Okay. So I said, yeah. It was probably two dollars. So he says, uh, how many do you have? So I said, how many do you want? Right. And he goes, do you have five? And I said, yeah, probably. Next thing you know, the guy comes in and he bought five yeah. copies. Right. Next day I get a phone call. Hi. Uh, do you have this song called Moonlight Feels Right? I said, yeah. He goes, how much is it? Two dollars. He goes, do you, how many do you have? I said, probably five. Could, I, could you hold them for me? I'll be out. This went on for months. Kidding. Yeah. And I remember getting interviewed by a newspaper, and a guy says, what's your biggest selling record? I said, no question about it. Moonlight feels right. He goes, you're kidding. I says, one guy's buying them like they've never seen in my life. So, wow. anyway, I call up this guy that sells the wholesale records, and I said, listen, he finally bought me out. There was none left. Yeah, yeah. So I said, I call up. I go, look, I need this record. He goes, what is it? I said, Moonlight. He goes, what do you want that piece of crap for? I said, it's the hottest record I got. for you. I need 200. So I bought 200 for him for probably a quarter. Yeah. So here he keeps coming, keeps coming. And then he stopped. And I probably got stuck with 150 of them. Wow. So one day, door opens. And this is, when you, this is what makes me think of you because you just said the guy came over the shopping bag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This woman comes in. Right, and she's got all these records. She's got all these bags of records, bags and bags. They're all out since so you keep making trips in. And I go, "What are you doing?" And she goes, "You buy records, don't you?" I says, "Yeah." I look. It's like 300 copies of Moonlight Feels Right. I said, "Oh my God, what a bag!" So we probably gave her 50 cents a piece. For oh it. man. Okay, and I brought them all back. Now, think this story's over? No. Nah. Don't tell me the guy's A story. month later, the guy calls up. Ready? Hi. I haven't heard from him for a year. You know, he, he oh, stopped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For months, yeah, yeah. maybe a year. Yeah. And then she sold all the records to me. I thought I'd never hear from anybody again. Right. The guy goes, uh, do you have the song uh, Moonlight Feels Right? I says, yeah. He goes, how many you have? I said, I probably got five. I want to say 5,000. <laughs> anyway, um, and that's what, so, and we ended up, you know, he came back out and he bought five more. I said, oh my God, he's going to buy them all back. This is fabulous. But he, he disappeared. Now he buys from me. He's up there now. Okay. And, okay. Age, okay. and he has yeah. holds here, you know. Yeah, he yeah, buys, yeah. He gets so much money a, a month. His wife died. That's why I'm not getting returns. Right. Okay. Um, <laughs> anyway, uh, he's, he's gets Social Security or he gets, yeah, yeah, he gets yeah. disability, he gets something. Right. Yeah. And so when the checks come in, and, and the an order goes out. He sends us money and okay. goes in Chester. How about but, that? Uh, that's anyway, funny, man. That's my story about uh, Moonlight Feels Right. I got to tell you. Story. This is today's mail. Very nice. I get, this is, uh, I don't get that much mail anymore because nobody knows how to write. What did I get today? Five letters from American Express. I say, hmm, this is interesting. Somebody must have stole my card. No, worse than that. This is one of my customers, one of our very good customers who decided... You know what? I, well, first of all, he calls up here and he'll go, Hey, Chuck. Wow. Val just sent the greatest records I ever heard in my life. Tell him thank you. Tell him thank you. It was, they were great. I was up all night listening to them. So Chuck says to me, Bob called. He's just heard the records. 
he said they were the best you ever gave you were the best you ever sent him I said that's interesting he goes what do you mean I guys I never sent them they're still on my desk it's the kind of guys I got that's the kind of people I deal with you got it they love the record so I said tell them back and tell them that I'm really happy for him I could send them more just like it well that kind of stuff obviously came back and hit me in the ass in the butt I don't want to curse I'm not cursing anymore anyway you ready here's what we got back today these are chargebacks from this guy thank you Bob chargeback six hundred dollars chargeback seven hundred dollars chargeback a thousand dollars chargeback a thousand dollars and saving the best one to last chargeback fifteen hundred dollars so this is the kind of day I'm gonna have that's thirty five forty two forty eight hundred dollars he's taken off Chucky that your check isn't gonna clear this week <laughs> You get yeah, it? They don't take it out. No, it's already took it out. I saw forty-eight hundred dollars at the top. Forty-eight hundred dollars. It says disputed amount. Holy mackerel! I got the wrong business. I'm telling you. Forty-eight hundred dollars. That means he didn't pay. He didn't pay him. That's I mean, yeah. You want a copy of this? What? Yeah, yeah. I want a copy of it. I'm taking it to my lawyer. As soon as I get one, you know. I hate lawyers. You like lawyers? I've only ever used one once. What, to get divorced? <laughs> no. I'm working on that well, one now. You're right, twice. What? Twice then. Once my first divorce and once for my need. Okay. Well, they, they didn't. All I wanted was to be paid while I was out of work. I hear you. And they wouldn't do that. Yeah, lawyers so are the best. So I had to get a lawyer. Lawyers, uh, child molesters. Who else is living there, Chuck? Come uh, on, tell, tell me some more of your friends. Hello? You. Oh, whoops. <laughs> that's not good. Anyway. Like, uh, that's what you Thank you, thank you for everything. Appreciate it. This is probably my last week here. Really? Well, look at this oh. shit. You take $4,800 hits good? Yeah. Right. I don't. Um, yeah, when you right. come back, I'll call him. All right, good. I got to go home. I got to go out. I'm going to probably commit suicide. Wait till after you speak to him. First. Okay, I'll call him first. All right. Joseph, Cut. thank you for your friendship over the years. Thank Seriously. you, Val. Thank you. Best. As I always say on the uh, emails. Thank you for keeping the music alive. Thank you. By the way, it died. The music died while you were waiting. It's over. Over. See this? Living proof that it's over. Cut. Cut.